now we're gonna do a little bit of a different touch to this one. So is it a G63? That's the one. Don't forget, it's the 5.5 one. It's not the 5. 4 litre, it's the 5.5. Not 4 litre. Yeah, raw. Do you watch the vlog? Yeah. What's your dream car? G63. G63. Yeah. Right, Bilal. So this is where the magic happens. Yeah. You know, teamwork makes the dream work. I want to go then. You are the boss now, okay? <laughs> yeah? So have you sat in a Lamborghini before? No. Should I take you for a little drive in it? No. Listen, every time I try to speak to you on the phone, you never answer the phone. Let's stop wasting time and let's go do the reveal. <laughs> Right, okay, first question is Dawood. 14 times 22. Aye, aye, la la. <laughs> right, Dawood's a little bit nervous. He said, before I go on camera, you're not going to ask me anything that, you know, I might not have an answer for. I said, well, maybe I might. And I'm just asking you, 14 times 22. I don't even know the answer for that one. But anyway, today we've got Dawood here, a young 19 year old entrepreneur who's bought his Mercedes G Wagon to get customized. Well, first of all, congratulations on your G-Wagon, mate. That's the one, 19 years old, and I'm not sure, maybe you guys can answer this. Is he the youngest owner of a Mercedes G-Wagon? Because I know I did do a vlog. I think it was James from Leeds. Yeah. I think he was the youngest owner of a G-Wagon. I'm not sure, you might have probably beaten that. So, Hopefully, what's your yeah. date of birth? Because we can work it out by months as well, you know. 6th July, 2004. 6th July 2004, possibly he could be, but I'll have to find out. But anyway, great achievement. That's You've worked hard, family business. Alhamdulillah. You got a G-Wagon. That's the And one. you thought, well, tell me about the G-Wagon. Well, what made you buy a G-Wagon and why do you want to customize it? I was looking at RS7 or G-Wagon. Big difference. Yeah, I know, I know, huge difference. But of them two, you know which one has got to be in it. G-Wagon, G-Wagon all day. One of the most popular cars of 4x4s in the UK currently that is getting customized. Mm. Alongside the Range Rovers, the Land Rover Defenders and probably the Cullinans and the Eurises as well. The G-Wagon is a good choice. That's the one. Obviously, we do a lot of facelift conversions from them, but this one is having a, a little different touch to it. We're putting the Wide Star. Just a little small difference. The Wide right? Star body kit on this. A little bit different from what you've previously seen. You've seen us do the facelift conversions, the normal G500 to G63, 2022 facelift conversions, but now we're gonna do a little bit of a different touch to this one. And we're gonna be doing the interior. So let's go show them the car. Nice colour. Are you changing colour. the colour? That's the question. No, 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 no. We're Definitely keeping the colour. Definitely not. So is it a G63? That's the one. Actually, it is a Mercedes G63. How do you even get insured on this? Don't forget, it's the 5.5 one. It's not the 5. 4 litre, it's the 5.5. Not 4 litre. Yeah, raw. So it's a 5.5. That's the one. 17 plate. That's the one. Nice colour, actually. What's this colour called? Not a clue, but she looks good. It does look good. I'd call it probably a Daytona grey. A lighter shade of a Daytona grey. But it's got a bit of a tinge of blue in it as well. Mm. Do you say it's more blue or grey? Grey. You say it's grey? I'm saying grey. Is that man. what it says in the logbooks? Something like that, yeah. Okay, let's go for bluey grey then. <laughs> That's what we're going to settle for. <laughs> <laughs> Looks nice as it is, but you want to facelift it. You want to modernise it a little bit. It needs right, that. So we're going to transform it all, but we're not, I keep forgetting, we're not doing the G63 standard conversion upgrade. We're actually going to do something special on this car. So you have to wait till the end to see what we do. That's different to the other ones that we've done. This is the first one that we're actually doing. That's the one. Right, so okay, we're putting the body kit on, we're facelifting it, transforming it to a 2018 plus model, the W464. Now this is a W463. Now what we're gonna do is facelift it to a W464, the current Mercedes G-Wagon with a unique body kit. The wheels, what are we do with these wheels then? I'm still 50 50. 50 50? Come on, guys. Mm. What do you guys think? Do you think you should change the wheels or leave these ones on? I mean, if you're going to transform it, you've got to change the wheels. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of inclined towards that as well. Well, you've got to make that decision. Well, mm. again, wait till the end and see what Dawood decides. Does That's he change the, the wheels or does he not? That's the one. Right, coming around the car. So, no colour change. What about the interior? Right, okay, so the interior, these seats are really lean back, aren't they? <laughs> Is that how you drive in Manchester? <laughs> He's from Manchester, by the way, as well. So shout out to everybody in Manchester watching. No, no, shout out to Cheatham Hill, that's the one. Cheatham Hill. That's the one. Right, is that the place to be, yeah? That's the place to be. Cheatham Hill. Listen, I've done a lot of cars around Cheatham Hill, so yeah? shout out to all the Barracks I owners there. <laughs> right, okay, we've already changed the steering wheel because uh, Dawood could not wait, so he was like very eager to change the steering wheel. We've already upgraded the steering wheel. I will be customizing the seats as well, all the leathers will be changed. All this leather what you see here will be removed and transformed with our bespoke interior. So it's going to be, uh, well actually I'll give you a little clue. It's going to be very bright red. 
So interiors will be all transformed as well. Right, okay, so that's interior sorted. Uh -huh. Wheels are still thinking about. Okay, so now the back of the car. We'll be having all the spoilers as well, bonnet scoop, everything. Full shebang. Full shebang. Full shebang. That's what Dawood wants. Everybody that comes from Cheatham Hill always wants a full shebang. That's the one. They go all the way. No restrictions, no limit. That's Only the sky is the limit. That's what I mean, yeah, I'm kind Right, Dawood, tell me a little bit about family business. What do you do then? Yeah, I've been working with Dad. Uh, own a couple of takeaways and whatnot. We're in a bit of property, trying to go into Airbnb now as well. Oh, a lot of people are going to Airbnb, mm, actually. Exactly. It does fun. work. Uh -huh. Right, let's waste no time. Dawood, you got work to do. See sort there. the Airbnbs out, and I've got the G-Wagon to customise. Money you have for mech. <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. Yeah, this okay. is Bilal's dad. Dad, yeah. how are you doing, sir? Yeah, okay, thank you. How you doing, Bilal? Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Yeah. You like my new car? Yeah. Good man, good man. Where's, where are you guys from? Blackburn. Blackburn? Yeah. I've had a lot of customers from Blackburn recently. Oh. So many. And you watched my last vlog in Blackburn yeah. restaurant. <laughs> Akbar's. Yeah. Come over here, Bilal, come here. Yeah. Bilal, come all the way from Blackburn to see me. Do you watch the vlog? Yeah. You subscribed? I watched you too. Good lad. Well, Bilal's a big fan of mine. Come all the way from Blackburn. His mum ran me and said, look, you know, Bilal wants to come and see you. He's a big fan. Always watches your vlogs. And I thought, of course, I'm going to make time for him. He's not slept on that, by the way. <laughs> oh, bless me. You know what? That deserves a hug, man. Yeah, oh, I appreciate that. Honestly, I really genuinely appreciate that because I don't see as much, you know, like people outside that watch me because I'm always working. And I do get messages on YouTube, Instagram, stuff like that, people following me and, you know, obviously complimenting me. You know, just, it's, it's a nice motivation for me and it's nice that I can help kids, yeah. motivate them, inspire them because I try to do that subliminally in my vlogs. Yeah. Not just about cars, I always teach them about respect the parents, yeah, yeah, work yeah, hard yeah. in school, yeah. be successful because the background that I've come from, do you understand? I know it's been a, you know, a difficult journey for me, but if I can do it, anyone can do it. It doesn't matter what circumstances you're in. You know, you can be successful. It's just basically from day, well, since he was like baby, you remember me like your toddler, he's just been into cars. So he, he knows any car name, he, he name everything. So that's how I was as well. When I was a young kid, I just had a hobby in cars. I just, I was just like, you know, I just thought it's every young boy's dream because we all love cars. Yeah. So I thought maybe it's just, you know what, it's just a boy thing. I went to college, I did media studies because I like media studies and things like that. And then my heart wasn't really into it. I thought, what do I really want to do? And I thought, maybe cars. And I, told, I spoke to my parents about it. I said, oh, look, I want to go to college and study how to do body works and cars and stuff. They were like, no, that's just your back garden hobby. Because I used to tinker around with cars in my back garden. They said, oh, no, if you do that, you know, you don't want to go into that career because, you know, you'll come back with dirty hands and it's cold environment, garages. And I thought, you know what, no, I'm going to, I went against them, by the way. And then I thought, no, I'm going to drop out in college and I'm going to go study in motor vehicle body. And that's what I did. And the day I walked into the college, I was a star student. I finally found something that I genuinely, I was, it was a hobby that came and became a career. And since that day, I've never looked back. And I'm like, because I still love my job. And like I said to you, whatever you're interested in, cars, if that's what you love, Go down the line of cars, be a designer, yeah. do you understand? Go yeah. be you know, be engineer. Yeah. You can even learn how to paint, fit body kits, yeah. do what I do, customize cars. Yeah. Do you understand? That's yeah. if how old are you? Uh, Twenty. Twenty. Well, yeah. I started late as well actually. But like I said to you, it doesn't matter what age it is, because at that age you ex you, you experiment on what you want to do. So a lot of kids, especially like, you know, in that age group, they want to try, you know, the, the one thing. It might not be for them. So I always tell kids. Try different things. Try, do you understand? And always stop at something that your heart feels like, you know what, that's what I want to do. And then just go for it full blast and you'll do well. So... Are you happy now, Blah? Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. He's, he's not sorry. happy yet, man. He's just come. I want to make sure he's happy before he goes. <laughs> right, Bilal, what do you think of my new Lamborghini? Yeah. Cool. You like it? Yeah. You like the colour? Yeah. 
Everyone says, well, debating a Lamborghini should be orange. Yeah. What, what colour is it? Uh, orange. Orange, yeah. Orange colour, grey. Grey. Yeah, grey. Yeah, well, the actual name is, well, Grigio <laughs> Haiti. Grigio <laughs> Haiti, yes. That's the proper name for it, but it's a grey, it's like a very close to a Nardo grey. But uh, when I was a young kid, I always had a dream of born in a Lamborghini. <laughs> I used to have the poster. You see that poster in my room, in my bedroom. Every morning I'd wake up and think, "Oh, inshallah, one day, one day." But I never thought it'd be possible. Do you understand? But then I worked hard. I've had a Lamborghini before, but never a brand new one. I was in my dream to go to a main dealer and just get a brand new car and the way that I want it. And obviously, I could have done this myself. A lot of it, the colour, the orange caliper, because that's what I do. But no, I said, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. The way I want it, I just just yeah. drive it because that's what we work for. Yeah. But uh, so, do you like G wagons? Yeah. Oh, sorry. What's your favourite car? G sixty three. Three three what? G sixty three. G sixty three. Well, we've got a few G sixty threes in the workshop. We've got one outside right now. Yeah. I'm going to show you. Yeah. What the Defenders? Yeah. Do you know what? the Barakzai body kits? Yeah. Which one do you like? The Range Rover Sport, the Defender. Main show first okay, well we're working in the workshop as well on that. But anyway, like what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you around quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's take Bilal in the workshop yeah. and then show you a few cars. Yeah. Let's show you what yeah. happened. Let's so come on, let's take Bilal in the workshop. Come on, my friend. Yeah. Right, Bilal. So this is where the magic happens. Yeah. You've seen it on YouTube, haven't yeah. you? So come on, let me show you. This is a G63 over here. This is the one that we're painting. We'll do full customization. You see how much work goes into this. We're gonna rub it all down and paint it a different colour. What colour do you think we should paint it? Black. Black's your favourite colour. You know Range Rovers, we do a lot of Range Rovers. And that's one of my favourite cars, Range Rover. We've got one over here, but this is gonna... We covered this up because this is gonna be a special colour. Yeah. This car is gonna change colours. Have you seen the one that we did before? It went yeah. green, purple and green, uh, purple. orange, yeah. So yeah. this is one that's gonna be very special. Another G-Wagon over here, come on. Check this out. All the seats have been taken out, look. This is another one actually. Yeah. When it's all complete, you'll see the transformation. So have a good look at it. Because when we're done with this car, you're gonna be like, oh wow, this looks different. This is a special G Wagon, it's having a new special kit of ours. And we're gonna do all the seats as well. So look at the seats as well. So we're gonna change all the seats, do all that. Look, we've got Rolls Royce. Yeah. And maybe one day you can come and spend a day with me here. <laughs> and I'll show you how to paint, show you how to fit the body kits. Do you understand? So you really can understand it. And maybe you might want to, you know, take a career into this. Yes. But this is where all the workshop is. These are all the lads. I'm sure you've seen all the boys on YouTube as well. Yes. They all work hard. These are the guys that do all the work. And you know, it's not, you know, only me. It's all yeah. teamwork. Yeah. You know, teamwork makes the dream work. Right, so come on then. Let's go down. Let's go sit in a few cars. Come on, Blah, come here. Sorry, but uh, it's a bit of a mess. Don't worry, but... Right, Blah, come on, sit on the boss's chair, mate. You can be yes. the boss for today. I'm going to go. I need a break. <laughs> I'm really tired. Get in there. So I'm gonna leave the G-Wagon keys and the Lamborghini keys over there so you can decide whichever car you're gonna drive. You're gonna go cruising around, just answer the phone, speak to all the lads, check the cameras, make sure everybody's working. I wanna go then. You are the boss now, okay? Yeah? Actually, one day you can come and work with me so I can probably have a break because I think Bilal will do a good job. Because he's passionate. He's like me. I can see the passion that he's got in it. But I will get the best out of him. And you know what? You know, just like you, I wear glasses as well, Bilal. <laughs> and nobody knows that, but actually, on occasionally, yeah. I've wore glasses, but I've been wearing glasses all my life, <laughs> believe it or not, since I was four years old. So, guys that wear glasses, they're extra special. Yes. There you go. So, I wear lenses now and again. Yeah. But I've got these cool ones over here, by the way. They're quite cool. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. They look quite more industrial, don't they? You want some now? Do you know that? He's going to tell us about the same as now. <laughs> So I'm going to give you some sunglasses anyway, don't worry, I'm going to give you some, a cap or something like that, but get these keys, come on, let's go sit in a nice car. Come on. Right, come on then, Bilal. Have you got a Range Rover, Bilal? You never told me you got a Range Rover. It's Bilal's car. I know, we need to put Barak's eye kit on yeah, that one no, day. Right, Bilal, come on. You like the smell? Yeah. It smells fresh, doesn't it? Yeah, it's magnificent. Yeah, let me see inside for you. Have you ever... Give me the, I'll press the button. There you go, thanks for last. <laughs> Have you been sat in a Lamborghini before? No. First time? Yeah. Well, what do you think of it? Nice. 
Shall I take you for a little drive in it? Yeah. Actually, before I do that, let's go show you the G-Wagon. Come yeah. on. G-Wagon. You know what the wheels are called? Sure. Okay. Sure, I Good lad. Now, lad, you got to work hard. you got to promise me. You're going to listen to your mum and dad. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. They've not got no complaints about you. And I know because you're a good lad. But you're going to study hard, work hard, and become what you want to become. Because yeah. anything is possible in this world. Anything. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, so don't ever yeah. give up on your dream. Yeah. Okay, because one of these days you're going to own one of these cars and you're going to be driving it around in Blackburn yeah. with the Barakzai body yeah. kit on as well. Yeah. Or maybe even a Defender. Now, what do you like? Because they're both quite kitted up, aren't they? Well, like you like Defender? I like Defenders. Yeah. G-Wagon. You like G-Wagons. Oh, good choice, mate. Right, come on, Bilal. Sit in your dream car, mate. It looks like to me you're going to be driving off. Yeah. You feel yeah. monstrous, isn't it? Strong. Nice and strong. Yeah. You like that, yeah? Yeah. Right, press the, where's the start button? I think I forgot what it is myself, it's there. Press yeah. your foot on the brake. Don't. The brake, not that, the other one. Press it down. Now press that. Yes, yeah, sounds nice, eh? Be careful with that. Yeah. What do you want to do? Do you want to go for a drive in the G-Wagon or the Lamborghini? Lamborghini. Lamborghini, okay. Let's take it for a drive in the Lamborghini. Right, turn it off then. So one of these days, mate, you'll be getting these, okay? Yeah. You gotta work hard and get one of these cars, yeah. alright? Definitely. Yeah. Right, okay, so you like the G63s? Yeah. And you like the black cars as well, don't you? Your dream car. Yeah. Come on. Let's go in the Lamborghini. Right, Blali, got your seatbelt on. Yeah. Do you know how to drive? No. Oh well, if you did, I'd let you drive it. Yeah. Right, come on then. It's your first experience in a Lamborghini. Yeah. See if I can get through this gap. There's a lot of traffic today in Bradford. Yeah. I won't go too fast. Yeah. Because I don't want to go over the speed limit. Yeah. It's very important to stick very to the speed important. limit. Okay? Yeah. Because I know you might have a fast yeah. car, yeah. but that doesn't mean you go super fast. Yeah. What's the speed limit on the roads? Do you know the speed limit? No. Is it 30 miles per hour or 40? 30. Well done. Yes. Because if you're not careful, yeah. you see them cameras. Yeah. What happens? Cam then you get flash. Flash. Yeah. I don't want three points. Yeah. Unless you want to take them. Yeah. But what I can do here though. Yeah. Do a little pickup yeah. so that it goes yeah. up to 30 miles yeah. per hour. I won't go over 30 miles per hour, okay? Is that new? I've not even taken the stickers off. Sticker. It's still on. Stay on. Yeah. It's, it's... So, what Lamborghini is this then? Yes. Yes. Right, so do you want to say anything to your friends who are watching? Anything to, to the viewers? Anything to people, young kids to work hard? Work hard and do, do your things. Exactly. Respect your parents. Respect your parents. And all dreams all dream. can come true. Come true. Okay, and so is yours. Yeah. I believe that you are a very special yeah. boy. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And you're going to achieve a lot in life. Because yeah. your mum or dad love you. Yeah. You're a passionate guy. Yeah. And, uh, you're a good boy as well. Yeah. And God blesses people like yeah. that. Okay? And if you ever need yeah. anything from me, yeah. I'm here. Yeah, give me a touch. Yeah. Good lad. You're part of the team now. Yeah. Another G Wagon here, look. Yeah, no, don't There's so many in Bradford. Yeah. So, do you want to say anything to your friends that are watching? You want to tell them to subscribe. Subscribe. Yes. So make sure you follow N Cans. N Cars. Yeah. Do you enjoy that Bilal? Yeah. Is it good, yeah? yeah? Good lad. Well, hopefully after your G-Wagon you can get a Juris. Yeah. Right, let me give you some gifts. Come in here. Right Bilal, I've got your little goodie bag here. Yeah. With your Barakzai cap. Yeah. yeah, these are my favourite caps. Yeah. I don't wear any other cap but these. Custom built. Yeah. So make sure you wear that cap, hold that. Yeah? You got iPhone? Or Samsung? iPhone. 
iPhone char Baragzai charger. <laughs> Let me make that a bit bigger for you. Wow, look at that. And then you've got your, for your dad's car, because he's got a Range Rover, I'm going to give you a Baragzai air freshener. Okay? Yeah. And this is, uh, this is like a, <laughs> yeah, for your key, for your phone. Yeah. But look, look, make it, I'll, I'll give it as a medal. Yeah. This is a medal for you for being a good boy, yeah. for working hard, and a keyring for you as well. You can put a keyring, and then this is a rucksack as well. Put it on over there. Yeah? yeah. Put that on that. Yeah? Look at that, you have been officially <laughs> Baragzai. Welcome to the team, my friend. Part of the Baragzai team now. Right, Bilal? Thank you for coming over. Thank you for your parents for bringing you over. And like I said, if there's any kids out there that are ever in doubt, never be in doubt because anything is possible. By watching Bilal working hard, you're going to see he's going to achieve a lot in life. And uh, I appreciate you coming over. Make sure to tell everybody to subscribe, comment. Give me a big hug, come on. Proper hug, my friend. That's how real men meet, and a good handshake like this. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Bilal. No worries, sister. No, you made my dream come true. Trust me, this is my dream to inspire people. Do you understand? Because, in short, you know, this is what life's about. Life's a short journey. We're only here for a certain amount of time. And it's like inspiring people and continuing life like that. And I believe you can work hard and do well. Okay, if you ever need anything, call me. Okay? Right, well, let's carry on with that G-Wagon because Bilal's eager to see it finish now. Yes. So we're going to get back into the workshop and finish off the G-Wagon. So a quick update on Dawood's G-Wagon. As you can see, it's coming on really, really well. And I'm excited to reveal this car to him because it's had a massive transformation. And one of the first G-Wagons that we've, which is quite different to the previous ones that we've done. We won't show you it fully done. You can wait to the end to see the reveal. It's gonna look absolutely amazing. Right, so at the moment we're doing all the interior. We're fitting all the seats in. We've retrimmed all the leather. And we've got a contrast as, as you can see, I'll show you the back boot. We've got the diamond stitching in there, the quality stitching, red leather. Uh, his was all black previously and he had all the, the original G-Wagon back trim but had the lines in there. We've removed all of that, modernised it a little bit and done all the interior. We're working on the Star Galaxy roof lights as well, as you can see if you come in. You can see all the fibre optics in the roof lights. There's probably about 1,200 individual fibre optics in the roof lining and we're just going to chop all them up and uh, make sure it's working correctly and uh, that's going to be a nice feature to the car. Yeah, so the back boiler's all on. Front end is almost built up. We're just putting on the bonnet scoop. And uh, as you can see, the back bumper, I'll show you the back end, no problem. This uh, chrome trim around the spare wheel cover will be wrapped in gloss black. That's what we're gonna be doing. He doesn't want the side steps doing, uh, but I'm gonna try to twist his arm a little bit to get them done as well. We're gonna be changing the wheels on this car as well. But it's had a massive transformation. The only thing we haven't done is change the color. We've left the color original and it does look nice. So uh, anyway, hopefully it'll be ready very, very soon and that wood will be coming to collect the car. So hopefully wait to the end guys, make sure you stay tuned because this is gonna be epic and hopefully it's gonna be breathtaking and he's gonna love the results of this car. And so will you guys. And also make sure you subscribe guys on our channel and uh, to stay tuned on future vlogs make sure you press the notification button as well and make sure you comment on our vlogs and inspire us a little bit so we can give you some good content and we can continue giving you these great vlogs hopefully you enjoy them anyway coming to g-wagons we've got another g-wagon that we've uh, fully transformed military green i'd say it's uh, a car that probably belongs in dubai we're giving this a full repaint and it's having a facelift conversion. So the standard G63 W464 look this car will be having. Again, a lot of work, but the results are amazing. Got a lot of Range Rovers, 
Uh, we've got the brand new Range Rover here that we're working on our Nebula body kit on this Range Rover Vogue. Uh, we've got a lot of these booked in for over summer. And yeah, these kits are very subtle, but they're obviously quite effective as well. They look really aggressive on the car. Not a major transformation as such, as in you don't need to take anything off. You just add things on to make this car look spectacular. Right, so hopefully that will be done as well in a few weeks time. Got a lot of these Range Rover Sports, so we do have the special offer on the Range Rover Sports 2014 to 2017 models, the LM Sport Aero body kits, which we can do for $16.95, supplied and fitted, same day turnaround. Bargain, guys, seriously. Look, you've got one behind you as well that Robert's working on. And uh, this comes with the front bumper complete. We haven't put the low splitter on this, Luke, have we? No, no low splitter, but we can add a low splitter on there to make it look more aggressive. We fitted some side steps as well, so we do have the side steps for the Range Rover Sports and the Vogue's, and also have the side steps for the Defenders and the new Range Rover Sport and Range Rover Vogue's as well. But yeah, continue, like I said, we've got a full pearlescent flip Range Rover Sport that's uh, done for a customer in London. Got another one there from a customer from Birmingham. Another customer there from Nottingham, etc. So we've got a lot of customers from out of town that are getting their car customized. So Dawood's G Wagon is all complete and he's here to collect his new customized G Wagon. We've totally transformed this car from the outside and inside. Now he's a budding young entrepreneur that's taken over his dad's business. He works very, very hard and he's treated himself to a G-Wagon. Not only that, he's had it customized by us. Hopefully when he sees the car, he's gonna be surprised and hopefully we get a good reaction from him. Well, let's waste no time. He's in the reception, waiting to see his car, very eager. Let's go do the reveal. Mr. Dawood. Angie, youngest right. entrepreneur in Manchester, busy, busy. or the youngest owner of a G-Wagon in the UK, or preferably Manchester. Uh, that's the one. Is that true? That's the one, man. That's How's the one. work anyway, mate? Alhamdulillah, like grafting, grafting. Grafting. Listen, every time I try to speak to you on the phone, you never answer the phone. I always get a message from you at around 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, nice. Or 7 p.m. in the evening. Yeah, that's after, What's going on, mate? That's after I'm cleaning up at the shop, right? You're cleaning up in the shop. Tell yeah. us about your business. How's it going? It's going good, man. Alhamdulillah. In town centre. Busy, busy, busy. Manchester town centre. Portland Street. That's where we're at. Port. What's it called? Portland Street. Shout out to Janum. Okay. Well, I'll be checking that place out, but yeah, you won't see me in Manchester on a night. If you're on a night out kind of vibe. Well, if I go to Akbar's restaurant in Manchester on a night out or Seen restaurant in Manchester, I might just pop over for a. Another yeah, burger. Yeah, that's I'm, I'm on diet at the moment. Oh, I can't yeah, I'm eating clean at the moment. So, but anyway, if you are in Manchester, Portland Street, that's the one. make sure you come visit Dawood. That's You'll be the flipping one. them burgers and pizzas, etc. Grafting. Well, one. you worked hard. Yeah. And you've uh, still doing it myself. I'm still doing. It. Still going. So where's it all started from? You pops. Your dad. Yeah, man. You grafted hard, man. For 10, 15 years. But you appreciate that your dad worked hard. Alhamdulillah, man. It's because I'm in Miami where I am, man. That's good. You, I'm, you know what? I, I've got to shake your hand for that, mate. Seriously, well done. Because if your dad's worked hard and you appreciate what he's done and you're taking that business to another level, that's what it's about. That's what it's all about. And I know there's some kids out there that do come from well-off families, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but they yeah. take advantage of the wealth that the parents have created. Yeah. And you know, okay, fine. If that's what they want to do, that's okay. But it's good to kind of step it up a little bit because you'll feel good for yourself. Yeah, be, hands, when on, you... be hands on yourself. You feel it as well yourself. Exactly. If you don't feel like it's just falling off the... You don't, exactly, you appreciate it. That's the very important thing to appreciate. And when you work yourself, earn it yourself, you understand the difficulties that your parents went through. That's and then obviously when you spend as well, you know that you worked hard for this yourself. Yeah, Just you like you spent on this G-Wagon, mate. You hurt me, bank. Trust me, I've hurt your bank. Yeah. Well, a few more burgers, yeah, you'll gonna, be done, you'll be, be fine. I'll be tonight flipping the burgers. But, I'm <laughs> but you'll, like again, you'll appreciate it. That's when that G-Wagon's parked outside your takeaway well, yeah. in Manchester. After, after I've done my mop, I'll be getting in my Exactly, plus yeah. when you go down, I've heard you got a big, uh, portfolio of properties as well yeah, so when you're going around collecting that rent in that g-wagon <laughs> the rent, rent, rent's rent going rent up guys definitely the no, rent's no, no, going no, no, not yet, it's not, not going up yeah, i don't know what he's on about <laughs> it's not it's not going i'm only joking but anyway listen when you do work hard then you can obviously treat yourself you yeah. bought yourself a nice g-wagon and then you know you've uh, and like i said i'm quite surprised at a young age are you 19? 19 i'm not sure i'm sure james was also 19 or was he 18. let's mm. take it back to the vlog and find out Today, we have the richest kid of Leeds 
come here to get his car customized. Say hello to James, who's only that. 19 years old and he owns a G-Wagon. When I was 19, I only dreamed about these cars, but James owns one. You're both similar ages, yeah. but we've got to find out the date of birth, yeah, don't yeah. We, we? We need a fact check with James, man. We need to get back to him. We'll have to get back to that one. But anyway, listen, whatever it is, you're still a teenager. You've got yourself a G-Wagon, right this way, you worked hard for it. But not only that, you fully transformed it. Not only from the outside, but also from the inside as well. That's the one. Well, is Manchester ready for this G-Wagon? Are you ready for this G-Wagon? I've been ready. You have been ready, I've but you never ready. answered your call. Yeah, I know, I know, but I've been ready. Right. I've been dreaming. Bro. Let's been not been waste any time, and let's go do the reveal. That's come on. Cool. We've got a lot of G-Wagons out here. Mm -hmm. Got one that's just come in for another transformation. A brand new one over there as well. That's had a bad anxiety body kit on. That's but cool. yours is something special, mate. Oh. Very special. You can see you can it. See the lights already. <laughs> you can see the outline of the car with the lights on right behind them shutters. But let's waste no time because I know you're eager and you need to get to work to open your business up. Yeah, I'm, I'm open tonight. Yeah. Open tonight, Portland Street. But check this out, mate. Your Mercedes G Wagon, fully transformed, customized to a very high standard, my friend. Check that out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Oh shit! Oh yo! Killed Come on! It. Oh my! Come on! Check out this monster beast! Oh, it's perfect. You like it? You smashed it, man! You smashed it. Check out the interior. <laughs> what do you think? All the door cards are done. The seats. Is it just how you wanted? Perfect. Because you were very fussy when it came to the seats. I know it was a shade of red. Matching the steering wheel. You got the custom steering wheel, the upgraded one. All the seats are done. Starlights as well. Obviously, you can't appreciate it in the daytime, but when it's night, mate, they're brilliant. Beastie, yo. Yeah? I, I, yo, that's what I yo. like looking beastie, yo. Is that a Manchester thing? That's a Mancunia one. Watch out, Manchester. Wimslow Road, Portland no, Street, no, no, no. We don't do Wimslow Deansgate. Road. We don't do Wimslow Road. Watch no. out for this G Wagon. Why not? Check out this as well. You're going to probably think, how do you open the petrol cap? What do you do here? This is, I asked you this last time as well. How's it going? You work? did ask me, but I'll tell you how it works. Ah. Voila. Perfect fit, huh? Perfect fit. Oh, Tailor made. Gee. <laughs> Taylor made. Check out the back of the car. Let's flip that pizza over. That's the one. Check out the spoiler. Rear bumper, rear lights, fully transformed. Look at the wide arches. Now they are wide, mate. They're probably about 80 mil wide at the back. Yeah, look at them fins as well. Got the 22 inch shuriken alloy wheels with the spacers on as well. Smoked out windows, exhaust, but the front of the car. Whoa, we've got a brand new, oh. <coughs> now check this out guys, a comparison. That's a brand new 2024 G63. Mm -hmm. The guy paid £180,000 for that car and then he spent money with me customising it. Now, are you going to tell me what you paid for your car? All together with your budget. No, no, not the all together. What did you pay for your car? 68. 68 grand. Now you spent a bit of money with me. Yeah. It's still nowhere near your 180 figure. <coughs> now look at this car. Grand and look at that car. Don't get me wrong, beautiful, boy. brand new. Boy. But oh look God. at the comparison, value for money. Now, I, you cool. guys have watched a lot of my G-Wagon vlogs and I was going to buy it. You pay a fraction of the price and you get a brilliant facelift upgrade on the G-Wagons and it's worth your money now. Proof in the pudding. Savings, exactly. Now, when you're driving around in Manchester, up and down Portland Street, where all the footballers go to party, uh -huh. they're going to be thinking you're a footballer. That's the one. Now then, what are you going to do? Not with this fucking fence. Trust me, a retired <laughs> footballer then. Talking about that, man, you're only 19, you need to start going oh, to the no, gym. No, no, Trust no, me, because no, no. health is wealth, guys. It's you might be the richest kid in Manchester. You know, night, late night. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but let me give you some no. words of wisdom, guys. The most important thing in life is your health. So make sure you spend money on that as well, not just cars. But come on, give us your verdict, mate. I love it. Genuinely. Yeah. I need to go out with it and then I'll actually yeah, I'll take it in. <laughs> but when are you going to go out with it when you're always working? And then the rest of the day you're sleeping? This weekend, man, this weekend. So all the boys ready? Get ready, lads. Get ready, lads. Dawood is going to paint the town grey. That's the one, mate. <laughs> we have done. Marks out of 10, mate. 12. 12 out of 10. Thank you very much. So that's a high mark. Question is, though. Go on. Was it worth the wait? Yeah, definitely. 
Yeah. yeah, I know we've had a little bit of a slight delay on this, but Patience. it's worth the wait. Yeah, no, we were gonna dechrom it all, now we're in two minds. We thought we'd leave it first. Yeah, Let's see now. how it looks. And then later on, yeah. if you decide to do it black, we're gonna dechrom it all, do all the door moldings in black. To be honest, for now, I think she's- The side steps it's over. and the over. spare wheel cover at the back. Right, okay, so Dawood, thank you very much, sir. Right. Keep working hard That's and cool. hopefully I'll see you in your Lamborghini Urus in about two, three years time. Yeah, Probably about a year, a couple of years no, no, time, because the way me. you're going, mate, at 19, if you've got a G-Wagon, what you can have when you're my age, a private jet, of course. But there you have it, guys. Dawood's G-Wagon is fully transformed. The exterior and the interior. It's a 2017 Mercedes G-Wagon, and we fully transformed it and facelifted it as well. We've got another G-Wagon here that's coming for almost identical job as Dawood's, but we're going to have a different color on this one, and uh, stay tuned for that one as well. But just before we go, let's just show you the comparison of a 2024 compared to the facelift that we do. And it's come straight from the main dealers. The customer collected his car and bought it here at Encans HQ to fit a Baragzai body kit on. As you can see, it's got the front lower lip, bonnet scoop, top roof spoiler, and the rear roof spoiler, and the back Bad Excite rear lip bumper spoiler as well. And like I said to you, this is a, a very nice subtle kit for the brand new G63. So if you do have a brand new G Wagon and you want it to transform it, we have many, many kits in stock. So please do give us a call. But anyway, question is, what do you think? Compare the both a £180,000 car or a £60,000 car. I mean, they look almost identical. You save a lot of money. That's why I keep going on about the Mercedes G Wagon conversions. They are value for money. So if you do have a G Wagon, a W463 model, an older one from 1970 all the way to 2017, and you want to facelift it to a brand new one, please give us a call. We are the best when it comes to the Mercedes G-Wagons and Defenders and Range Rovers and a lot of other cars as well. So make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and press the notification button to keep on top of our new vlogs that are coming out. But anyway, just before we go, we are going to do a competition. The question is, how many times does Dawood say, that's the one during the vlog. That's the and you one. Thought, that's the one. 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 Whoever gets the answer right, I will give them a pair of Barak Zeit sunglasses for the beautiful summer weather. And uh, yeah, that's so that's the question. Make sure you watch all the vlog, guys. If you have to watch it back again, please do, because you don't want to miss out on a chance to win these Barak Zeit sunglasses. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next vlog.